React.js mind map part 8 of 10 next level before adding items of the next level we need to zoom out the chart because there's no space left on the screen we already have the zoom to bar let's move it from the content component to the chart component the toolbar and the zoom menu to zoom the chart we need to resize the SVG view box to zoom in, we need to reduce height and width. Let the initial zoom value equals 1. Each time we click the zoom in button, we are gonna multiply the zoom value on the same zoom factor. And then divide the height and the width of the view box on the zoom value. To zoom out, we divide the zoom value on the zoom factor. We can zoom in and zoom out. That's not enough. We need to be able to drag the chart. By default, the dragging mode will be turned off. We do it on purpose, so that not to shift the chart X identically on every click. If the drag mode is turned off, the chart can be dragged. To drag the chart, we need to turn the drag mode on first. On mouse down we start dragging and remember cursor position. On mouse move we change the origin of the view box.
On mouse up we stop dragging. To prevent selection of text on dragging, we need to add the event prevent default method in the on mouse move handler. Now we are ready to read the items of the next level. Each item of the mind map can have sub items. To get the sub items, we need to get from the repository the list of items with parent ID equals item ID. The items of level 1 are arranged on the circle around the item of level 0. The items of level 2 are arranged around the parent items of level 1 on the arcs. The more items on the level 1, the narrower the arc. So items on each level are arranged around its parent item on the arc. The angle of the arc equals double pi divided by the count of items on the previous level. That will do for items of every level starting from level 1. Let the items of level 2 and upper levels have a different shape. Level 0 is a big circle, level 1 is a rectangle, level 2 and upper levels are small circles. Thank you for watching to the end. 
subscribe to our channel and you will learn how to resize the chart for different devices.